All right, we have a pretty big bear here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're gonna be doing a Great Juan Black Bear Guide. Today we're gonna go through everything you need to know to put that Great Juan Black Bear in your lodge. We are going to be doing our grind in Silver Ridge Peaks here because Silver Ridge Peaks has one nice long drink time and that is from 15 or 15.30 until 20 or 20.30 and they are not drinking in the dark. So that is why I have chosen Silver Ridge Peaks. But guys, you can do your great one grind for Black Bear either in Silver Ridge Peaks, Leighton Lakes, or in Mississippi. Those are the three maps where you will find Black Bears. Pretty nice big one here, I'm gonna take him down. Now what I am using here, guys, is the 300. I am so happy we get to use the 300 with integrity on this great one grind. And the 300 just smacks bears, let me tell you. And splat, he dead. So if you do enjoy today's video, guys, or learn anything at all, go ahead and smash that like button. That would be amazing. Thank you guys so much, and we're gonna head straight into it. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of this new great one? Are you excited to grind for it? Are you disappointed? And where are you planning to do your grind? What I'm gonna do, guys, I am going to share with you a hotspot map at the end of today's video showing you where all of my black bear zones are here in Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, I have counted them, and I have 44 zones as of last night. Last night, I headed down to this area down here, so make sure you're checking down here, guys. I had already found about three zones. I found, what, four more drink zones along here, so make sure you're definitely checking down here in the bottom right corner for drink zones. There are even drink zones that are out of render, so you don't need to be farming those ones, but it is always best to find as many zones as you possibly can when you are doing a grind, guys, because the more zones you have, the better your animals are going to respawn. That is one of the number one questions I get asked, how many zones do I have? Right now I have 44, I may find more. Is that a bear? Oh, another male bear! Where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. Oh, and splat, we got him. So what I'm doing also is I am only killing the males. When I was doing the red deer grind, guys, I was only shooting above level fours. And I'm not gonna be that picky with this grind because just finding male bears is hard enough. So I am shooting every single male bear. I am not shooting females. And that is a dark right there, level five. But yeah, as long as it's male, I am killing it. Now there are rare variations for black bears. This changed with the February 22nd update. So the rares are actually cinnamon, blonde, and brown. So pay attention to those fur types because they are actual rares for black bears. There are no melanistics, there are no albinos. Those are the rares. Now you do have to keep track of your own kills yourself. The game only keeps track of total kills and that is a dusky level seven. And diamond for black bear is 22.8 and we have not had a diamond yet. So far I have killed, well after that, that is 61 black bears to date. Now this grind is going to be a lot slower than what we are used to with whitetail and red deer because with those two antlered species, we are killing several, at least two from every zone and often with black bears. You're only gonna be killing one if you can even find one. We are running into a lot of females, but guys, don't kill the females. There is no need to kill them. It is only the males that will cause your great one to spawn. Now there is a purpose in killing females, and that would be to open up a spot for a male to spawn in. And I'm noticing with the black bears that their respawns are very, very interesting. They are respawning all over the place. So we definitely need to be checking as many zones as we possibly can. Now what I do is I do a route. I start up here at two fawn. They drink from 15 till 20 or 20, 30. So I actually set the time to 1600. And even with that, sometimes it does take a little bit of time for them to get into their zone. So this grind is going to take patience. It really is. And bears move around a lot. So sometimes they can be hiding in the brush around the water. And this is what you're gonna see a lot females and it can be frustrating it really can but so what I'm doing as far as tents and tripods go guys is I am setting up my tents 250 meters away from the zone and my tripods about 175 meters away from the zone let's check this one right here and that actually works great for me now you don't actually have to have tripods for this grind because we're not killing as many animals as with the other great one grinds we do have a bear here Sweet. It will definitely help you to stay elevated and it will reduce your hunting pressure. Some areas have lots of bears. 
but not a whole lot of areas. And I will show you where I have been finding the most bears on Silver Ridge Peaks. That. Perfect. I can't tell you how excited I am to use the 300 on this grind. I love the 300. Love it. Is that another? Oh, 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 that's another bear. And that's what you want to be paying attention to. Bears can come out of the woodwork and it's totally okay to shoot them in the butt. I think that's what we're going to do here. Yep. Yeah. Butt shot. It'll kill it. <laughs> but I haven't had any zones disappear on me, so that is good news. But just because you find females in one zone doesn't mean there won't be males there down the road. So we want to be checking. What I would do is a particular route, and when you're done your route, go back and check other zones where you were only finding females. You may actually find males there. I am just starting this grind, so I am learning a little bit about it. But that is what I have found so far. And there is our first level five. Beautiful. <laughs> we actually got a non-vital on that one. So yeah, shooting them in the butt is totally fine as long as it kills them. Don't be doing that on any nine legendaries or rares, but everything else, as long as you kill it, that is totally fine. And bears don't pay too bad, about $1,100 a bear. Thank you, Dag. So this is where we are right here. So as far as loadout goes, guys, when I am first getting started, I don't carry a whole lot with me. I carry just one 300. I do carry all of my ammo because I just never take it out of my inventory because it weighs so very little. Then I have the Argus and the Hyperion. I do have the Predator Distress Fawn Collar for Black Bears. I carry my Apex View and my Gen Zero Night Vision Binoculars, and then I do carry tents and tripods, and that is what I've been carrying so far. But once I am happy that I don't need to carry tents and tripods anymore, I will probably add a second 300 to my weapons and possibly carry a 22 because I am running into a scary amount of turkeys. <laughs> Lots of turkeys. But my main focus here is bears. I'm not really worried about other species that I run into, so I don't need to carry every weapon, but what you carry is totally up to you. Now, bears are a class 7 species, so you don't have to use the 300. You can use any 4 to 8 rifle. So you can use the M1, the 308, the 30 odd 6, the 7 mil, any 4 to 8 will do just fine. You can also use the 338. I absolutely love the 300. I think it's a powerhouse and it is awesome on black bears, so that is definitely what I will be using, but it's totally up to you which weapon you choose. So basically, the first thing you want to do, guys, is find all of your zones set up with tents and possibly tripods. If you can't afford tripods, that's totally okay. You can add them as you go. If you don't want to use tripods, you can do this grind without them. It does really help in areas like this because it can be very thick around some of the lakes and you're gonna have better visibility with the tripods. Now with the tents here, sometimes you'll want to have tents on both sides of a lake and that would be for retrieval so you don't have to run too far around to pick up stuff. And also when you move over here, there are often zones all over the place. And so if I head down here, I can check zones over here and over here. So basically use the tents for tag teaming your zones. And it does take bears quite a while to get into their zones. And just because you find females at a zone during one rotation does not mean that there won't be males there, so keep on checking. But I am finding the respawns to be a little bit inconsistent. At this zone down here, guys, which is Mule Deer Outpost, I found like 15 bears here. There were, I would say, four or five males. And since I have been there, I'm not getting a lot of respawns, so... So basically what I'm doing is I am setting the time, going from zone to zone, killing as many male bears as I possibly can. And when I get through the entire time rotation, I set the time back. I do actually leave the map and come back. That's just to get them into their zones faster. I am picking up all of my kills. I have heard that they did patch the not pick up your kill thing so that they may respawn as the exact same thing if you don't pick up your kills. So definitely pick up your kills, guys. That is very important. I have always picked up my kills, but you may not make any progress if you don't. So I would highly recommend it. So yeah, right here, not, like I said, lots of turkeys. <laughs> but I had like 15 bears here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They have respawned. 
And maybe that is because I now have all of my drink zones. Look at all the bears here. So this is an absolutely fantastic spot, guys. And this is outside of Mule Deer Outpost. So definitely, definitely this is one of the best spots on the map. All right, we're gonna take some big boy bears out of here. That is for sure. We have a five, a six, a seven, and a four. All right, let's see how many we can do. Now you definitely, when you have this many bears, wanna be shooting out of the tripod. Now tons of tripods will cost you 16,000 in-game dollars each. So the tents are definitely the most important, so definitely start with those. You can add tripods later. He definitely needs to die. Got him. And any 300 bullet into a bear will kill it. You may have to do some tracking, but that is what I'm finding. That. Three's pretty good, I will take it. Anytime I can take three bears down, I'm gonna call a success. And that is a black level seven, beautiful bear. And aren't they gorgeous? And I do do my grind with my dog. I just love that he does the tracking for me. And that is our six. Did not get a good shot on that one, but even shooting him in the leg killed him with the 300. And that was a beautiful shot on that level four. So three bears is very sweet. So that is an amazing spot for bears right there. Okay, so I'm showing you with every X, every single black bear drink zone that I have on my map. Now your map won't be exactly the same, but it will be very similar. So that should help you to find your zones and you definitely want to find as many as you can to start off with. Now I've put stars on the areas where I'm finding the most bears. So those are my best spots, but your map may be different, but that'll definitely help you to get started with zones. So when you hit a zone and you have no bears there, guys, keep going and just go back and check that spot. They don't always come in at the beginning of the time and sometimes they don't even come in till the end. So just skip that zone, keep on going and go back and visit it later. But I really hope that does help to put the great one black bear in your lodge. And I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. That's gonna wrap it up for this one and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. If you guys would like to learn amazing hotspots for every single species in Call of the Wild, definitely click on these Where and When Super Guides.